name is Kevin Fernandez. And I'm Jordan. And welcome to my channel, Gamers Genie. Today we're going to begin our gameplay on the Princess Bride Adventure Book Game. Um, <laughs> some people may think it's called Storybook Game, but they are wrong. Yeah. Yeah, for some reason in my head I thought it was Storybook, but I looked at the box uh, uh, several times and I'm like, oh yeah, it doesn't have story in the title of the game. But, but yeah, anyways, I'm so ex excited to play this. Game, even though Kevin, it's been a while since Kevin and I played this game, but I still remember like you still you like you have a challenge to accomplish in each chapter. So I'm not the narrator this time, like we did when we did stuff fables, but I'm still excited to um, play this game. And like stuff fables, we're gonna just do this one chapter per video, so the video lengths will differ uh, uh, based off of how long the chapter will go with just us mm -hmm. playing it. Um, everything we're going to stick to it will be basically the same uh, gameplay, though. Um, but with that being said, let's go to the table and begin our gameplay game on, on the Princess, Princess Bride, Bride Adventure, Adventure Book game. game. Okay, so as we, uh, we have our game all set up, and I mm -hmm. just want to say as we progress through the game, um, I will, we will mention how to set up each chapter. Uh, from chapter three onward, because in my how to play video, I did mention how to set up for both chapter one and chapter two. So, uh, as well as reading the chapter rules and everything that we need to know in this. Mm -hmm. So the first player of this chapter is whoever last did a chore. Mm. Yeah, most likely it's me because I tend to do laundry over the weekend, so. I took out the trash on Tuesday. So, Tengli, you, you go first mm -hmm. on that. Okay. So, I can move. Okay. So, I know we need to get rid of all the chores. Yes. And then we need to put Wesley and Buttercup together in... The barn. The barn. Okay. So Sorry, we were reading rain upside down. I'm going to go one... Two and um, okay, so I move. I will discard a card to get rid of a chore. And then I draw two cards from the story deck. It's been a while since I played this game. Mm -hmm. And discard the top card of the plot deck. It's number four. So we place a chore counter from the list of chores to a space there. Okay. And I don't have more than six cards. So my turn is over. Okay, I'm going to move Wesley two spaces and get the wood done. you got to discard a card. Oh, yeah, I'll just discard this one. Oops, wrong deck, sorry. Um, okay, what, what else do I want to do? Um, discard number. Guards, complete. Complete a challenge. I know we're trying to accomplish as you wish challenge, but we only have got because uh, the requirement of it is there must be two or fewer chore counters to the map. There are or, two or uh, fewer chore counters. Okay, so and then Wesley and Buttercup must be in the same space. Okay, so don't they need to be in the barn together? No, that's for true love. Mm. Um, anyways, uh, I don't know if there's anything that else I want to do since it's still the first round. So, so then you got to move to the storytelling, yep. which means we draw this. So it is, so we move Buttercup to Wesley's space and then, um, then draw and resolve another plot card. Okay, so same space. Six. Uh, six. Yeah, okay. 
Hey, my turn. Yep. Okay, so I will go one, one, two. I will discard this revenge card to get rid of this. Okay. Then I will discard this card to move him here. And love to activate that because we have two chores. Mm-hmm. And then the reward is to draw from the special deck. Draw one card from the special deck. All right. I draw two cards. And that concludes my turn. Okay, so for this second challenge of chapter one, we need to have Wesley and Buttercup must be in a barn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move both characters once base. So one, just so that way when it's your turn, you can move them to the barn. But we need the combination of cards. Combination of cards. Oh, yeah, you got a point. Okay, um, I'm going to... We can trade. Oh, yeah, we can. And this is a cooperative game, by the way. So I got one love card and two adventure cards. I got one love, one courage, and one adventure. Okay. Because I know we need two loves, and I forgot what... The, the orange one is. Courage. Courage. Yes, thank you. So, I mean, the do you want I do for love. I mean, I could, I could trade you my, well, my love, my only love card. I mean, do you have, you because you have courage, right? Yeah. So that would make more sense if we do that. All right. So that way when it's, your turn, we can mm -hmm. get that accomplished. Okay, so that'll be it. I'll end my turn here. So now the... So 20. 20. We move... Oh, well, they're already in the same space, and then we draw another card. We put a chore token onto number two. Ooh, so even though we already accomplished as you wish, we don't go back to that, right? No. That's what I thought. Been a really t long time since you played this game because you like completely forgot how to play. I I know I'm like, we played it like twice if I remember correctly. I do the combination. Yep. Does it say we need to have no chores or anything like that? Uh, no, it doesn't say anything about chores. Okay, what's my reward? Okay, draw a card from this special deck. So I've got one challenge down and one to go. Okay, and I draw two cards. Okay. okay. So now for challenge number three of this chapter. Oh wait, don't I need to draw from this deck? Uh, you already did. Oh wait. That was for you. Yeah, you, you haven't done that one yet. Okay, so I have to place a chore at number 12. Okay. Okay. Okay, so for back to challenge number three of this chapter, Buttercup must be in the barn and Wesley on the to for um, fortune, which is over here on space, and you must have completed all the cha all the other challenges, which we already done. So, so good thing we did one step at a time. So. Fire cup will I'll move Wesley two spaces one two and now what do you suggest I should should probably do? clear off some of those chores oh yeah okay so well, you gotta be right next to a chore to clear it off oh that's true so I could go one two and mm -hmm. stand and get rid of that wood you have to discard a card that. Yep, I was getting there. So, yeah, I think that'll be it for me. Okay. 
So 15, which means that we place on number 15 a chore. No, oh, man. Okay, my turn. Yep. So oh, wait, I, I got to draw two cards. One, two. I'll discard revenge. Three. And I'll discard an entry card to remove a chore. And then I'll draw two cards. And you got to draw from the... 16. So Buttercup goes to Wesley's space. Mm. And then uh, got to draw another card. Okay. 18. So six. Another card. Ten. There we go. Ten. Place a chore on plot 10. Right there. Gigi, you fell in love and you had to go back to doing chores before you leave. Yep. Okay, so my turn. I'm thinking... Oh. I thought about moving Buttercup, but I know I could move... No, technically I can move two characters, one space. So I'll just move Buttercup here and then Wesley here to get rid of that wood. Discard a card. Yeah, I was getting there. <laughs> Well, a lot of people don't like to discard cards. They want to just skip one part. I'm thinking about discarding another card for Wesley to... And where do you think I should move him? Because I'm thinking about to moving fortune. him to fortune. Yeah, you're right. So Just remember, you need two adventure cards. So you're really quick to throw away adventure cards. But yeah, we need I, that to complete that. Yeah, I still have two adventure cards in my hand. So I'll... I already discarded one to move them closer to that. Okay. So I'm ending my turn here. All right. Well, I'm going to... Oh. oh, wait. Yeah. Okay. And we just put a chore on plot three. Okay. And I draw back... Draw two cards. Okay. So I'm going to move here. And I'm going to move Buttercup here. I will discard a card to remove this chore because we need to keep this balanced. Mm -hmm. We're going to draw two cards. And then, um, yep. To number one. Okay. Jordan's turn. Okay, I'm going to move Buttercup here and. Uh, oh, wait, I'll move over two spaces. And do you have any encourage cards? Like more than one encourage nope. cards? No, I nope. don't have any okay, courage. Okay, I don't have any courage either. So I'm just going to discard my... Well, Go fish. Card. <laughs> um, to move Bark up to the barn. Okay. And I'm going to end my turn here. No, wait. I could... Uh, what, what were you going to say? You were going to suggest something. I was going to suggest draw two cards from here and then draw one card from here. Oh, just in case I get a courage card. Okay. No, because that's what you're supposed to do. Oh, whoops. I must have done my, my steps today. I don't know what the heck's wrong with me, but okay. Anyways, story. Thirteen. Okay. <sighs> right here okay yeah where buttercup is okay well obviously smart move would be to discard this card to remove this chore then i'm gonna go one two i'm gonna discard this card to remove this chore but then i will play Sir, we're in a terrible hurry to bring him to there. Nope, no, no. Oh, it goes no, there? No. Yep. I'm uh, sorry. We got to shuffle it all back into this deck. Oh, that makes more Once sense. Once you okay. have it, it goes into this deck. It doesn't go into that deck. Oh, whoops. It's been a while for me, at least. Yes, it's very good that you're correcting the guy who just went through how to teach this, <laughs> teaching this game. Okay. Okay, continue. My turn's over. And then we got to draw from there. Eight. So we got to put another chore out. 
Oh. Hey, be thankful it's not a 16 to 20. Oh, yeah, exactly. We would have to keep putting those two in the same space and draw it. Draw more cards. Okay, so my turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to go one, two, get rid of this chore, discarding two. Oh, wait, hold on. Discard to move character one space. Actually, I was going to do that. Discard two. And I got two adventure and a courage. <laughs> what? Watching you do that was just the scariest thing ever. It's like, okay, I'm going to walk away from this. Hey, and I thought twice. So, okay, and the reward is you completed this chapter. Okay. Cool. So, what we'll do is we shall clear the board. Mm-hmm. Which we normally don't do this, but with this game, we're... We'll remove these characters. And go turn the page. For the next chapter. And we're just going to have this already pre-set up um, when we get to the next one. But when you, uh, when you come back, we'll be in chapter two. Well, we got through chapter one. Yeah, when we first played this game, we kept losing, and um, every time we um, played the first chapter, I think we when we first played this game, we lost like three times in chapter one, and then we weren't well, able to do chapter two. To be fair, that was the first time we played that game. That's so. true. That's true. But you know, you don't really do good the first time you play a game. Mm -hmm. Yep, it always takes a while before you get used to the game itself. Yep, so join us back here at the table where we will cover chapter, chapter two, two uh, Escape by Sea. Um, and they have like a story thus far. Uh, I did read all of this stuff, all the stuff in Escape by Sea in our How to Play video on uh, the Princess Bride Adventure Book game. So, you know, if you are new to this video and you got this far, well, first of all, you already kind of spoiled yourself, so yeah. shame on you. <laughs> um, but if you want to know how, uh, what, what all the story stuff on the side, now we, we might do it as we pursue because we're mm -hmm. going to be doing chapters that I didn't cover in the How to Play video. Mm -hmm. So we might do that. Um, we'll see. We'll just see how that goes. Mm -hmm. um, uh, well, actually, uh, let us know in the comments below if that's something you'd like us to do or just keep going. Do you feel comfortable enough with The Princess Bride where you don't need a narrator to narrate what's going down? Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, let us know in the comments below. But other than that, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, hit that subscribe button, and ring the notification bell to be notified for uh, videos just like this. And if you're a big fan of the channel as a whole, consider becoming a Patreon supporter on our Patreon page. You can support us for as little as a dollar a month, where you unlock early uh, special rewards like early access to how to play videos. Not like this, but like the how to play video we did mm -hmm. for this game. Uh, we also have a how to play Ticket to Ride game we don't know which map it is yet but we will by the time this is released yeah <laughs> but right now we don't know yeah and you'll find out in um all the posts on social media so you will find out after before this video is posted but if you haven't you will find out later <laughs> but that being said we will see you when we start chapter two but until then thanks, thanks for, for the views, views.